What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. Right now we're sitting at 26,500. We're up 0.94%. We're going to be looking at Bitcoin on the one day time frame. I got to make this quick. I got to get going here. But what I wanted to point out to you was this wick. You guys know I'm always talking about the wicks for tops and bottoms. Yesterday's wick was about 6.5% to the downside. And it's almost like a gravestone doji candle. A little too much body, but that shows a top right there on heavy volume. So I want you to be careful. And what you want to do is watch today's candle and see where we end up closing. You can already see we have a lot of wick today as well. So if we do end up starting to make a move to the downside, I would look at support around 24,471. Then it'd be down around that 20 EMA and that'd be roughly at about 23,000. So I'm going to keep my eye on that area and I'm going to keep my eye on this candle today. Now, if we close back up above and we can close up above, we'll call it 26,859. Then we'd have to get back up above 28,465. And the RSI at this point is at 76 right now on the one day time frame while we're looking at this long wick of about 6.5% on heavier volume. So you want to be careful in this area because people have been taking some profit. That's what that candle is showing. And you always want to be aware of these things. And what we can do is actually work down through the time frames here. If we move to the 12 hour time frame, you can see we had a bearish engulfing candle right here on heavier volume. Then we'll go to the 4 hour time frame. And what we're trying to do is find support off this 20 EMA on the four hour time frame. But what you can see is we're losing strength on the RSI. We're moving to the downside here. So this has been an extreme move, guys. I really wouldn't be too shocked to go back and even test around that $24,000 area. I think that would be healthy for the market. You can see on the four hour time frame that was the doji candle, that long leg doji we were talking about in yesterday's video to keep an eye on. And many times that can mark that local top there. And we had follow through on the following four hour candle and that's what you're always looking for as well as that follow through but overall this has been an amazing move you can see we're still on the four hour time frame even up above the 20 50 100 and 200 moving average if we get into the one hour time frame you can see the loss right here price and that rsi just moving to the downside lost a lot of buying pressure right there a lot of selling volume coming in as well the rsi on the one hour time frame is at 43 right now so if we can't hold this 50 moving average on the one hour time frame we're going to look down to the 100 and that'd be around 25,882 and then it'd be down around that 200 moving average on the one hour time frame which is a very important area we have held that since about december 12th so that's an area if we do get one of these deep drops like you can see here how that's really deep if i zoom in on this a little bit Right here, it's fast and aggressive to the downside. Even this is pretty aggressive to the downside. If we get another one of those, I'd look down at that 200 moving average and see if we can start having some candle closes up above that if we do move to the downside. On the one hour time frame, the bullish thing we have going here, tried to hold this as a higher low, come back up and see if we can get over top of 27,397. So I just wanted to point these things out to you guys. Really pay attention to those candles on the one-day time frame. We may need a little correction here. I think that'd be healthy for the market. But this is Bitcoin. If it wants to go to you know 30,000 tomorrow, it can do what it wants to do. So God bless you all. Take care, my friends.